How's it going in, soldiers? Your commanding officer, Taku World War II, and lovable. Possibly one day if I ever get a B2 body. Gelfing, VTuber, Jor Desat, that's my VTuber name, if I ever become one. Saw the He-Man Masters of the Universe Revelations this weekend. Uh, it wasn't the perfect one, but I've seen worse. I'm talking to you, New, new Adventures of He-Man. I love the action. I like this. It reminded me of the Mike Young productions of the action. So, but the DC comic books were definitely way current ones. War Eternal Eternia War, far more metal than the series. Anyway, also gonna say that Clownfish TV hashtag Clownfish TV was right in a lot of what they said. Kevin has focused on finishing Mr. Smith. The rest of this, stop tweeting. Okay, I'll be sending this out to everybody on Twitter. Not that anyone's going to respond to this. I don't know. Who knows? But I want to talk about the second half of the show and my predictions based on the the um, titles of them that we've seen or been hinted at. The first one being called Hence Cleave, oh, I mean Cleaved in Twain, which means cut in two. I think somehow the sorceress, after getting her powers back, is going to get the heroes out, and she's going to revive Adam so he doesn't die. This is going to cost her her life, but in that point in time, she's going to, it's going to be known to Tila that that's her mother, which is probably going to make Tila go all emo and off and again because she said we they're probably we're going to need you. We have a source, Tila, you. Uh, Adam confronts Skella God. Don't know if he fully gets the power sword back or if it splits apart or if he gets a copy of it. Kind of like, I have to admit, I kind of like the idea of it splitting apart a second time, but not, magic not going away. He-Man getting the gray pre Eternia sword, uh, Skeletor getting the purple Underworld sword, and they fight at the end of that. The fight goes on, continues in episode 7. But the heroes lose. Tilas learns more about her past. Maybe it's her father with a glowing tattoo she had. Uh, spoiler alert. When she got the blade from Scareglow. I'm wondering if, and someone brought this up, she, her father is not Zodak. Because his tattoos in the Mike Young Productions glowed when he was ready to get badass. Uh, however, He-Man's going to lose that fight and they have to retreat. In episode 8, we might see a disgrace, drunken or whatever. Ram, I hope it's not drunken or he's made fun of Ram Man. Or down of his luck, Ram Man. Or maybe the guy who's sewer rat or garbage rat, I forget what it's called, is going to be Triclops. And they, the heroes are using Triclops and his cult to try and help figure out a way to stop Skelegod. Because you know Skelegod's going to want to get revenge or on the Triclops. Not sure that nut job's going to be ready to jump back in bed with Skeletor. We possibly could see a relation between uh, Keldor slash Skeletor and Evil Lynn in the past where she gets pregnant. If we don't see that in 8, we possibly might see it in 9 too because it's setting up for the grand finale. At that point in episode 9, I think what we'll probably see is a confrontation between King Randor and Adam and a fight and they don't see eye and eye and you should have told me and blah, 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 blah. As the heroes are starting to get their team together and Skelgod's got his whole army together with probably Triclops rejoining the evil forces. Although, hint, hint, it would be a pretty good idea to redeem Triclops because he was supposed to be a good guy so there's a little spoiler hint hint um easter egg hint hint uh but before the show can end and Adam and Randor peacefully 100% reconcile I think Randor will be killed and he'll probably beg Adam please make me proud or you have made me proud, Adam, before he dies, and that'll spark off the second great battlefield, the battleground, sorry. That leads us to episode 10, that the two-thirds of the episode is going to be fighting and kickbats and 
death and blood and guts and gears smashed all over the place. Skeletal God forces are probably going to come very close to succeeding when Orko comes along with a Marvel's portal scene and he's alive and he and Mossman and Roboto and the Pre-Eternian heroes all come up to say, help He-Man and the rest save the day. The swords will probably reemerge. Skeleton God becomes Skeletor, probably falls somehow into a pit of lava, which would have been like a Easter egg to the movie, and dies. Adam is now the king. He marries Tila. Andra probably because of her colors make becomes the new Mad at Arms and maybe keeps the sword for safekeeping until we get a new hero. Tila because Prince Dare, the second. And there's Talk of Peace. Maybe Orko mentions that. Talk of Peace. Which uh, Evil Lynn hears and is upset about because she goes into a back... Uh, we go back into the past. See her holding off a baby, holding the baby, and then handing it to someone we don't see. And that baby is being sent into the future. And as we see that scene... It starts to go gray, and the end thing we hear is Skeletor's laugh because that baby becomes Skeletine, and Dare becomes the second hero, and they're going to feud and fight. So, I mean, that's just what I think. Again, hashtag Clownfish TV was right. I am going to tag this on Twitter to when it's uploaded to both sides. We'll see what happens. I don't think anyone's going to respond. But I hope you liked my ideas, my theories, my predictions. Let's see how right I am. You guys take care, stay safe, and ciao.